Shalom. 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 Hey, this is brother. I'm a one. I buy the brother. Hey, raw. The brother. Raw, yeah. The brother. We watch the bar. And we here in the spirit and power of the by Shemel Shai to do a lesson. Before we go any further, we're going to give all honor and glory and praise unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great Mistun who taught us this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you we say Shalom. 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 This lesson is going to be entitled um, The End of Ease World, man. Okay? The End of Ease World, as it is written in the scripture, man. Esau. Okay? It, it's, it's spoken of in the scriptures, man. Uh, 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 and a lot of time, okay, when our Lord return, Esau is going to be in rulership, okay? So we hoping and praying and hasten on to the day of the coming of our Lord, Yahushai, okay? Mm -hmm. To come and deliver us, to come and save us, man, okay? Because, hey, Lord knows we need deliverance from out of this place, man, all right? So, hey, get what you got, brother. We can, we can just take it from there. Uh, it's 2nd Andrew chapter 6. Verse 7, because ancient I and said, What shall be the part in the sunder of the times, or when shall it be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, and Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob held Jacob hand held first that heel of Esau, and Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Right. So when you go into biblical history, you know. This this the Lord's movie, okay, is um revolved around Jacob and Esau, man. Okay, the righteous and the wicked. You see? Two brothers, okay? And and <laughs> the one brother is the righteous brother, and the other brother is his evil brother. Okay? And we under we under their 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 rulership, man. For, for the last 500 years, mm -hmm. okay? And times before, because they were the Romans, they were the Greeks, not originally, but they, they end up in those lands, okay? But their line is Esau, man, you see? Going back to their forefather, Esau, okay? The Israelites go back to their forefather, Jacob, you see? Mm -hmm. So everything revol revolves around Esau and Jacob. Okay, the scripture speaks about the brother just read it. Esau is the end of the world, world, a uh, 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 world age. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, um, eon. When you go into that world word, it's eon. It's a period of time. You see, when they time period is up. You see, it's 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 it's, it's almost up, and that's why they're about to start to show their horns because they have a time that they cannot pass. Okay, you can get that scripture rewind. Um, this is the book of Job, chapter 14, verse 5. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are within thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. There you go. So they have a time where they cannot pass. No matter what they do, no matter what they try, you know, they're trying to do uh, by left hand means, trying to uh, see if they could prolong their kingdom. All of these other kingdoms came before them, okay? Uh, you have the statue when you go to Daniel the seventh chapter, okay? You have the 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 the, 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 the Babylonians, okay? Um, you have the Persians, the Medes, the Greeks, the Romans, okay? Which they are those people, the Edomites. But for some reason, all those other kingdoms fell, okay? But for some reason, they feel like in their mind somehow that it ain't gonna happen to them. But it must happen to them because the will of the Lord is gonna be done. And that's the way it was, it's, it's written, and that's the way it's going to be done. Because right. at the end of the day, the Lord's word is going to stand. Mm -hmm. You see? The Lord's word is going to stand, man. You see? So Esau will be ruling in a lot of times to come. You see? When the Lord returns, when you read, uh, uh, what's that? Uh, Isaiah 63. Who's his coming from, 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 from uh, Edom? Mm -hmm. And the dyed garments from Basra? Okay? So that's that's a future prophecy, man. You see, that's a future prophecy. So when you go back to uh, Daniel, uh, the the seventh chapter, and it speaks about those four beasts, that the last beast, the, the the fourth one, okay, they they was the beast that ended up with, with that 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 surpassed all those other kingdoms 
okay, as like iron, okay, roughly paraphrasing, and and they had full dominion of, of the earth man when they uh came back because they the, the scriptures speak about their their head being wounded. Okay, they was they was bound and shut up for a thousand years when you read Revelation the twentieth chapter. But they came back during the Renaissance period. Okay, they fought for a thousand years and Jake was ruling things for one thousand years. But they came back. Okay, which is the so that's the revised Roman Empire, which is the seeing Edomites today ruling ruling. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got a, a, a scripture. Let me see if I can bring it out real quick. This is um uh, Second Ezra. Second Ezra chapter 11. Uh, second Ezra chapter 11. I start at verse 36. It says, Then I heard, then I, it's like a, then I had, this is supposed to be heard, but it's of head. It's like a, it says, then I heard a voice which said unto me, Look before thee and consider the thing that thou seest. And beheld, and lo, it was a roaring lion. This is going to Yahweh Shai. Chased out of the wood, and I saw that he sent out a man's voice unto the eagle and said, This eagle is a representation of Esau, man. Okay. Hear thou, I will talk with thee, and the highest shall say unto thee, Art not thou it that remainest of the four beasts? Okay. So it's them who are going to be ruling in the latter days. It says, Art not thou it that remaineth of the four beasts whom I made to reign in my world that, that the end of their times might come through them and the fourth came and overcame all the beasts that were past. So this, that's going into John, the, 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 the seventh chapter, that, that fourth beast. You see, it says, and the power, it says, and the fourth came and overcome all the beasts that were past, and had and had power over the the whole, over the whole the, the world with great faithfulness, and over the whole compass of the earth, which much with much wicked oppression. Now, when the Persians and the Medes, when the when when when, when Babylon ruled ancient Babylon, the Persians and the Medes, the Greeks, and then the Romans when they came, they was ruling on that side of the world. They didn't have full dominion of the whole earth. It was only, only, it was only during the Renaissance period when, when they started to come over the western part of the world. Remember, the, the northern kingdom was already over here. And King Solomon used to have ships, okay, that used to come to this part of the world uh, and get different things. Gold, mm -hmm. silver, peacocks, all of those different things. But they wasn't over here, okay? So when, them, when Christopher Columbus them came... Okay, when they start coming to this part of the earth, that's that's how that's when they begin to get the full dominion of the whole earth. You understand? And the scripture speaks about in Revelation the 20th chapter, and they went out to deceive the whole world. So that's what they did. They went out to deceive the whole world. And that's how they end up getting dominion of the whole earth. Okay, so it says, <clears throat> And the fourth came and overcome all the beasts that were past and had power over the, the world with great faithfulness and over the whole compass of the earth with much wicked oppression and so long dwelt he upon the earth with deceit for the earth has has thou not judged with truth for thou has afflicted the meek okay what they did when they came to to the to the to the, to the, to the Americas when they they, they, they they met the northern kingdom here mm -hmm. Gad Reuben these was peaceable people man Okay, somebody get um, Psalms, Psalms 55 and start at 20. Psalm 55, start at 20. You can get that out if you want. It's a Psalm 55 and start at 20. Mm -hmm. It said, he, he had put forth his hands against such as be uh -huh. at peace with him. Right. He had broken He had broken his covenant. Uh -huh. The words of his mouth were smoother than brother. Right. The war was in his heart. The war was in his heart. And that's what happened when they came here. Right? Mm -hmm. They they meet them they met the Northern Kingdom here, Gary Ruben man. Okay? Right? Yeah. That's what happened. What happened? They make a lot of treaties and broke them. Sorry. You see? Read that scripture again. They met peaceable people here, man. Go ahead. Psalm 55 and 20. He had put he had he had put forth his hand against such as be be at peace with him. Right. He had broken his covenant. Mm -hmm. The words of his mouth were smoother than brother. But war was in his heart. Right. And you see, that's why the scripture tells you to never trust an enemy, man. Mm -hmm. You see? It says, read now in 2nd chapter 11, 
Verse 42 says, For thou hast afflicted the meek, thou hast hurt the peaceable, thou hast loved liars and destroyed the dwellings of them that brought forth fruit, and hast cast down the walls of such as did thee no harm. Therefore is thy wrongful dealing come up to the highest, and thy pride unto the mighty. The highest also had looked upon the proud times. See all these times, the last 500 years you've been proud. You see? Mm -hmm. The scripture calls him most proud. Okay, it says, the highest also had, uh, Salaki, the highest also had looked upon the proud times and beheld. They are ended and his abominations are fulfilled. So we in that time now where the Lord beginning to send those plagues, man. Mm -hmm. It's for all the wickedness what he saw have done. It says, and therefore appear no more, thou eagle, because we know that's their symbol, right? Nor thy horrible wings, nor thy wicked feathers, nor thy malicious heads, nor thy hurtful claws, nor all thy vain body, that all the earth may be refreshed. You see? And that's that's what's going to happen after after the destruction. The earth is going to be refreshed, man. Mm -hmm. And guess what? <laughs> We're going to round them up and use them to do it. Mm -hmm. You see? The scripture speaks about that. Right. In the book of Ezekiel, the scripture speaks about that, man. They're going to be burying bodies, man. You see? I guess so. Go ahead, brother. This is 2 Peter 3 and uh, 13. It says, Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heaven. That's right. And a new earth went into righteousness. That's right. And, and that, is, that is exactly what is going to happen when mm -hmm. Esau is taken out of power. That's right. Okay, a, new, a, new, a whole new rulership. Mm -hmm. and, and when you go into the word new, mm -hmm. okay, it goes into new as respects, as, as respects form. It says recently made, mm -hmm. fresh, mm -hmm. recent, mm -hmm. unused, right. worn. Right. Okay. So he's going into, you know, after, you know, we take down Esau, the kingdom that's going to uh, come into uh, play, it's going to be completely new or fresh. That's right. Recently made. Right. Okay. And don't forget they're going to go into change too. So they're going to be building, building, building it up too. That's right. Okay. It's, it's pretty smart. Go ahead, brother. You got it. Now, I was going to say, you can clearly hey, you can clearly tell that we at the end of Esau's kingdom, man. Mm hmm. Yeah. You see the wars and the rumors of wars going on. Mm -hmm. hey, 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 we clearly at the end. We're going to get that too because that's what Jehovah Shai said in Matthew 24. Mm -hmm. It's beginning at the third verse. Mm -hmm. When the disciples ask him, you can get that. Yeah, I see get right here. Okay, Khan, go ahead, brother. Uh, Salakia, let me finish this out so oh, we can ahead, finish. Ahead, it's just one verse and we can let you continue on for that. This is the second Ezra chapter 11 and verse 46. It says, All the earth may be Salakia. To your point, too, I wrote with that word uh, refresh in uh, Second Peter. Yeah. The Hebrew word for that is kainos, which means refresh. And also, it's right here. It says that all the earth may be refreshed, mm -hmm. you see, and may return being delivered from thy violence. And that, the, and that she may hope for judgment and mercy of him that made her. So go, you got it now, brother. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. This is Matthew 24. Mm -hmm. You start at verse. Uh, you start at verse three. Come. Don't hit the point, Zach. Go to start a tree. Okay, Matthew 24, verse three. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, mm -hmm. the disciples came unto him privately, saying, "Tell us when shall the, when shall these things be, mm -hmm. and what shall be the signs of thy coming and the end of the world?" Right. And Yahweh shall answer. Answer the sinner to them, take heed that no man deceive you. For for many for, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am a Mashiach, and shall deceive many. Mm -hmm. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, mm -hmm. for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Right. For nations shall rise against nation, mm -hmm. kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines. Um, so I guess we famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Mm -hmm. All these are the beginning of sorrows. That's it. All of these are the beginning of sorrows. And guess what? Everything you just read, we've seen all of that. That's right. War in Russia. War between Russia and Ukraine. Okay. Uh, Russia just cut off the Nord Stream pipe. So Europe, energy, they're in an energy crisis right now, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. They haven't, right now they're preparing for a dark winter. They don't know how it's going to be over there. You see, and that's why the scripture tells us that the beast shall hate the whore. Mm -hmm. While these people over here cuddling up and, and well comfortable, them people getting ready for a rough winter. How long do you think they can put up with that? Mm -hmm. You see? You can't say, you, 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 you could speak a, a, a particular talk in, in a comfortable position if it ain't affecting you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But when people being affected, they got to cut off certain lights, the damn... The 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 the, con the conveyor belt inside the mall where the the, the, the steps go up the mall in, the, in Germany they had to cut them shit off, bro. You see, 
So when people feeling it, it's like a different, you know, you can't speak for me if I'm going through it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You not, you over there being all comfortable. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, eventually the beast can hate the, something is going to happen that the beast is going to hate the whore, bro. Mm -hmm. You see? So, yeah. Brothers got any precepts? I was done with Psalm 55. Come. Because says Psalm 55 and 21, it says, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter. The mm -hmm. war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil. Here were they drawing swords. Right. That's right, man. So, hey, you saw all the things that you did. You know, you smooth talking uh, Northern Kingdom, tricking them, you know, then, then you put out swords. Mm -hmm. Okay, basically, uh, stabbed them in their back. Right. Okay, all that's going to fall back upon you, man. Right. You know, like what they say, you know, well, everything that comes around goes around. That's mm -hmm. right. <laughs> okay, how you was being a, a bloody man. Right. Okay. How you build up your, your kingdom in blood. Okay, look, look, the Lord is going to require bloodshed from you. Right, that's right. Okay, as it says, as it says in Numbers, okay, what blood? I'm going to get it. Mm -hmm. Numbers 35 and 33, it mm -hmm. says, So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, mm -hmm. for blood is defiled the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that it is that that is shed therein, right. but by the blood of him that shed it. That's right. Because look at all these atrocities, what they did. I. Uh, my wife, go to go to Habakkuk, get Habakkuk chapter two, start at about uh, verse four. Mm -hmm. You see, because it goes through how they, they they keep it not at home. They go to all these different nations and just rip, rip pillage and take everything, man. Mm -hmm. and, and then call these people, conquer these lands, and then call these people lands after their own names. You see, get get that. Meanwhile, uh, 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 you uh, get Psalms forty nine and eleven, because that's what they do. Get that first and then be wise. Start reading that four. Habakkuk chapter two, you can start at verse four. Come on. You want me to start now? Wait for no, me. let him get that first. Come on. Showing you, showing you what they do. Let's go to these different lands, conquer them. How do you think you got, uh, 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 who, th who you think put the name, who you think put the name on, 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 on this place? Mm -hmm. Okay, the Italian map maker, Amerigo Vespucci. This, this place is named after Amerigo Vespucci, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, so after they conquered the land, then didn't they name it? Okay, go ahead, brother. This is Psalm 49 and 11. Mm -hmm. The inward thoughts is that their house shall continue forever. Right, they didn't consider the latter end. Mm -hmm. Read on. And the upright shall have the mint of slacking. And their dwelling places to all generations. Right. They call their lands their own names. Yeah, they call the land after their own names. You see? You see? So they go about conquering these lands, man. You got it, uh, Ruai. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 4. Mm -hmm. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, mm -hmm. but the just shall live by faith. Right. He also, because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man. Mm -hmm. Neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell, right. and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, right. and heapeth unto him all people. Right. So they have everything that, that heart could wish for. And they still want more. Mm -hmm. Okay? They still want more. According to them, as the scriptures say, <laughs> they want full control. That's why they they, 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 they try to do the, 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 the Marcus Aurelius. Revelation 13, 16. Because they want full control. Sure. They have more than heart can wish, but they still want more. Mm -hmm. They want everything. They want they want control of your thoughts. <laughs> you see? Basically, this man is the devil, man. Basically, one wanting to be like the Most High. Right. That's what the scriptures say. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Rewai. Go ahead. Come on. So now all these take up a parable against him, mm -hmm. and a taunting prophet against him, mm -hmm. and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. Mm -hmm. How long? And to him that lighteth himself with thick clay. Mm -hmm. Meaning debt. Over 30 trillion in debt. You see? Read on. Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and awake that shall vex thee? Right. And so in the times we're coming into right now, the scriptures say, let the weak say I'm strong. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not the same playing field like one time when you could, uh, the scripture speaks about uh, how he had power uh the other nations basically wonder because he had fire he had power to make it rain down fire mm -hmm. going into those you know what happened in uh japan nagasaki mm -hmm. and hiroshima mm -hmm. but we're not in that time anymore mm -hmm. other nations got those things now too mm -hmm. 
That's why the scripture speaking in Joel say, let yeah, let the weak say I'm strong. You see? Go get it, get it, get it. I think around about the ninth verse. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason why now they ain't gonna be the, the big bully on the block no more in these times. Mm -hmm. right. These nations not having it. Right. This that's why I say that's why the Lord is gonna also use those nations mm -hmm. to also shoot missiles over here. Right. It speaks about that in Jeremiah the fifth chapter around about the ninth verse, a company of nations. Mm -hmm. You see? And and, and Gog and May Gog is gonna be a god unto them. Mm -hmm. You see? You got it. This is Joel chapter three, verse ten. Beat your plowshares into swords mm -hmm. and your pruning hooks into spears. Right, so these, these other nations now they're not investing in agriculture as much as they used to anymore. Mm -hmm. Amen. They 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 invested in hardcore military gear. That's right. You see? That's what it is. That's prophecy. Read on. Right. Um, it's like, let the weak say I am strong. Mm -hmm. I said, assemble yourself and come all ye heathen. And gather yourself together round about mm -hmm. thither, cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Mm -hmm. Let the heathen be wakened and right. come to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Uh -huh. There will I sit to judge the heathen round about. That's it. So it's the Lord. The scripture tells us that it's the that it's the Lord who hosted, uh, mustered the host of the battle. Mm -hmm. So it's the Lord who's doing this, man. Waking on the minds of these 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 kings through the angels. The scripture tell you how, how the heart of the king is in the hands of the Lord and he turn it whether or ever see if he will. So the scripture speaks about who can resist his will. Nobody can resist the will of the Lord, man. You see? So Esau, I think, is, is by his own strength and his own power that he's doing certain things, but he don't realize that he, 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 he the scriptures say the, 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 the deceiver and the deceiver is his, is his man. So the most High is in full control. His pride has blinded him. There you go. He's been blinded. He's like, oh, I got all this power. Right. I got all this power, not knowing that the Lord gave you that power. Right. So you say, you know, that he gave, the Lord basically gave you that great sword. Right. Revelation, the sixth chapter. Okay, but it's like, you know how they have puppets, and they got the strings, mm -hmm. and you got the other strings, and you got that one big hand controlling all the other strings. Mm -hmm. That's basically the Lord, man. That's right. Okay. He's, the, he's the puppeteer. That's right. Okay. <laughs> you know, so Esau thinking he had, he has been he go get get uh you know fulfill his NWO he's gonna do this and that all these plans that he think he's gonna accomplish okay they're not gonna get accomplished man mm -hmm. okay also said in Job okay somebody can get that is that Job twenty which one no, I think Job Job fifty five sorry oh, oh you talking about his enterprise yeah Job five yeah uh, five and twelve I think oh, yes. Go ahead, get that first. Who getting it? I'll get it. Okay. This is Job 5 and verse 12. He disappointed the device of the crafty mm -hmm. so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. That's it. Mm -hmm. Read the next verse. Verse 13. He took the wires in their own craftiness mm -hmm. and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. That's right. You see? <laughs> so at the end of the day, his plan, his enterprise is not going it's not going to come to fruition, man, because the most high going to strike him through with the bow of steel. That's right. That's right. That's you right. see? Yeah, so at the end of the day, man, the Most High is in control of all things. I got Obadiah, I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, The vision of Obadiah thus said the Lord power concerning Edom, who have, we have heard a rumor from the Lord, an ambassador sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. Okay, especially in these times because uh, you're being made bare, man. People starting to see you for who you are. You see? It says, The pride of thy heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? <laughs> and that's how you saw think, man. Pride. You know? Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, though thou set thy nest among the stars, then shall I bring thee down, said the Lord. And that's what happened. Ever since they did that, like around the 70s, they've been started going downhill from there. You see? Showing you the, 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 the Lord is spot on. The words of the Lord is spot on, man. Straight out of this book. You see? 
and, 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 and that's prophecy too also in the book of um, Malachi where it speaks about you know Esau say he, he, he impoverished he, he impoverished but they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna go and rebuild and a lot of times they will rebuild but I will throw down hmm. we coming into those times where the Lord is gonna throw down That's right. you see Go ahead, bro. Oh, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 49, verse 10. That's it. But I have made Esau bare. Mm -hmm. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren and his neighbors, and he is not. The Lord is exposing you. The Lord is, mm -hmm. you know, allowing us to see who you really are. He, you're showing your horns. The Lord is showing your horns. The Lord is showing you that you're still that old serpent. You're still that devil. He's exposing you. Mm -hmm. okay. The people seen it. Um, and how is that happening through the mouth of the prophets? There you go. That's right. yeah, the Lord is using his prophets to, to, to expose you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Somebody can get that. And uh, right. uh, Second Thessalonians yeah. three, I mean two, two and eight. Okay. Can you grab that right? It says second second Thessalonians two. So I'm gonna start at uh, seven. It says. Okay. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Mm -hmm. Only he not only he who now let it but let mm -hmm. until he be taken out of the way. Right. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. Which is the prophets. Mm -hmm. Shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Right. And that's that's those ICBM missiles and the, the that beam fire from the from the chariots. Mm -hmm. You see? <laughs> the earth is gonna reel to and fro. You know, scripture speaks about the noisome, the noisome noise at noonday. <laughs> when you read Psalms 91, you see, it says the heavens shall melt with with, 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 with fervent heat. You see, so hey man, <laughs> these are some serious times we coming into. That's why it behoove you to seek the Lord and do what the Lord tells you to do in these times to have a hedge of protection to be delivered, man. Do whatever in your power to be delivered. You see, somebody got preach up. You got it. This is Daniel chapter 2, and verse, uh, I'm going to start at verse uh, 20. Their intention said, Blessed be the name of the Most High forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. Mm -hmm. He changes the times and the season. He removes the kings and set up kings. Mm -hmm. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. Mm -hmm. So, and we ultimately know that, hey, it's the Lord's slot slacking. Like we ultimately know that it's the Most High that set it up, you know, um, kings, man. Right. You know, so hey, if the Lord could set up one, He could take one down to one, one also. Right. right. You know, and we clearly see that hey, the Most High about to take up, uh, take down this hey, it is ruler, which is Esau. Right. And, and set up one that is righteous. That's right. Get get uh, rewind. Get Daniel four and seventeen. Okay. You see, because at the end of the day, <laughs> the man just said it. The Most High is the one who ruled the kingdom of men. Mm -hmm. You see. You got it? Come on, this is the book of Daniel, chapter 4, verse 17. Mm -hmm. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men mm -hmm. and giveth it to whomsoever he will and set it, and set it up over it the basis of men. And that's what's happening right now, the basis of men is in rulership. That's right. Mm -hmm. Ruling over us, the lowest of the low. You see? The lowest of the low. Let's 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 get it. Let's go there real quick. Hebrews chapter twelve, verse sixteen. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. Hmm. Okay, you sold your birthright, bro, <laughs> <laughs> for a morsel of meat. Right. You low man. You just, no morals. Despite. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> man. Man, Hey, but hey, that's, that's, that's Esau for you, man. That's Esau, that's Esau, man. But the scripture tell you, man, hey, when, 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 when the vilest man is exalted, the wicked walk on all sides. You see? And the scripture tell you what man of the people is in authority, so are the people. Mm -hmm. You see? Proverbs 29 and 2 um, When the righteous and authority The people rejoice but when the wicked Bear rule the people mourn People are mourning man 
-hmm. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, and that's why the Lord have to come and and and, and that set up his kingdom, man. You got it. The Lord to come set up his kingdom. This mm -hmm. is Sirach chapter 10 and verse 4. Right. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. That's right. And in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. That's right. So that's it. That's the same scripture. Read back up. Read back up. Like, start yeah. at the top. Yeah, yeah. A wise know. judge will instruct his people. Right. And a government of a prudent man is well ordered. That's right. As a judge of a people is himself, mm -hmm. so are his officers. Right. So, so look what's going on, man. You see who we're being led by? That's why there's so much crazy shit going on, man. Right. That's 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 prophetic. Read it. Read on. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, mm -hmm. such are all they that dwell therein. Right. So if you got a madman at the realm, well, how do you think the people gonna be? The same way. <laughs> is he? It's, 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 you got it, bro. It's like the. Uh, it's like the people reflect. You know the. Uh, the, the people affect the, the ruler. Right. So, they look up to the ruler. If you got, if you, if you in highest position, they looking at you. Yeah. <laughs> so, so if he able to do that shit, I'm that's wrong. what that's what they said. You supposed to lead by example. Mm -hmm. You got the most influence. Right. So that's why you got to care for what you do. That's right. Mm -hmm. Read on. An unwise king destroys his people, <laughs> the, but the prudence of them which are in authority. The city shall be inhabited. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. Right. And in due time, He will set over one that is profitable. Mm hmm And that's uh, that's uh, that's the rock ten. Ten to four. Yes. Okay, jump down to eight. Verse eight. Oh, well, verse verse seven. Pride is hateful before the Most High, and man, mm -hmm. and by both does one commit iniquity. Right. Because of unrighteous dealings. Mm hmm In Injuries mm -hmm. and riches got by the sea. Right, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Right, and that's what happened. All the things what they have done to us, mm -hmm. they touched the apple of the Lord's eye. Mm -hmm. All right, all of the all of the all of the gold and stuff, all of this stuff where they hoarding, we gonna end up with them stuff. Yeah. Okay, we why I get um get um uh, Daniel chapter seven and verse uh, eighteen. We gonna get them stuff. The kingdom is gonna be translated to us with the help of our big brother Yahweh Shai. That's right. This is the, you said seven and eighteen. Yeah. Okay. This is the book of Daniel, chapter seven, verse eighteen. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom mm -hmm. and possess the kingdom forever, mm -hmm. even forever and ever. Right now, who are the saints? The Israelites. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. Psalms. Uh, what's that? Fifty and five. Right. The saints are the Israelites. Okay, Psalms 148 and verse 14. The saints are the Israelites, man. You see? Mm -hmm. So, at the end of the day, the kingdom is going to be translated from one people to another. Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it, which followeth, man. We, we open up with that. That's right. So, we got next. That's right. You see? We got next. It's no going around and jump down to the 27 verse on that. Read the 27 verse. Where were you at, Ruai? Come on. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall mm -hmm. be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, mm -hmm. and all dominion shall serve and obey him. That's right. That's it. The scripture said, tell you that in the book of Genesis, the elder shall serve the younger. Mm -hmm. You got it? Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Genesis 25 and 23 says, And what Yahweh said unto her, Two nations are in the, are in thy womb, mm -hmm. and two men of feeble shall be separated from thy bowels. Okay. And the one people shall be stronger than the other. That's right. And the elder shall serve the younger. That's it. Mm -hmm. So that's how it was set up from the beginning. That's right. We just that's see right. people have to remember uh, the scripture saying uh Second Peter's the third chapter in the eighth verse, one day with the Lord is a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. So even though we're being afflicted and we're suffering, right? To the Lord, it's just been like yesterday. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? To us, because we remember the scriptures say his ways are higher than our ways. Right. <laughs> to us, it feel like forever. Right. But to the most high, it was just like two days ago. Right. <laughs> See? Yeah. yeah, the Lord on a whole other level, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You never compared that week to getting by in a week. You know? Like a couple, a couple of seconds. Right. So we had a little taste of rulership for that, you know, King David mm -hmm. and all the, uh, uh, you know, all the tribes. 
you know, got together and agreed with David. David is the king of all, all Israel. And his son Solomon followed that for another 40 years. We had a little taste of it, but that was just a preload to, you know, this rulership that's coming under Yahweh Shai forever. Mm -hmm. You see? That's the last time we were sovereign, man. We've been, we've been, we've been slave. We've been uh, tributaries. All of that stuff. <laughs> since the time of uh, 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 of Solomon, after that, man, those different kings, we started going down. Mm -hmm. We we didn't taste that kind of uh, uh, royalty since then. Mm -hmm. But we're going to get it back when the house shall return because he's coming to deliver us mm -hmm. for, 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 for what they did to him and for what they did to us. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord say, Revelation 1 and 7, you know, even he appear, every eye going to see him, man. Even those who passed him. They're going to be on the earth to see that. That's right. The Lord is slowly showing. Mm-hmm. Showing that. He's slowly making us like, enter into the kingdom. Right. He's slowly build, slowly building us up. Kind. Okay. Everybody enter in that state of ruling forever. That's right. Having power is not going to be an end. So right. He said, since I'll take the kingdom forever. That's right. Forever and ever. Right. Okay, that's literal. 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 <laughs> Because hey, we are going to rule forever. Mm -hmm. How are we going to do that? Because we're not going to die. Right. That's right. Okay. Uh, law, statutes, and commandments in our inward parts. That's right. You know, so you, you don't sin, you don't die. The wages of sin is death. That's okay, right. so if you don't if you don't sin, you don't die. That's right. Incorruptible bodies, man. That's a part of the promise. We shall all be changed in the twinkling of an eye. You see? So that's why brothers fighting so hard, man. You know, to the sparing power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You see, I don't want to out with those men. You see, but yeah, man, we living in a time where shameful spewing is on. Uh, get that rewind. Uh, Habakkuk, what's that? Uh, Habakkuk two sixteen. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter two, verse sixteen. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Mm -hmm. Drink thou also, and let thy foreskin foreskin be uncovered. Right. The cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned into thee. Right. And shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. Right. Shameful spewing is gonna be on Esau's glory, man. The cup of the Lord can be turned onto you. It, we went through it, man. We went through slavery. You treat you treat us very inhumane, man. But breaking all these different shit, man. Putting a bag over the woman's head and letting our own son screw up, man. Just for breed to breed. You know? Mm -hmm. Alligator baits, man. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. You so deserve the shit that's coming to him, man. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. You're right. Get Jeremiah uh, 49 and 12. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Of course he deserves it. <laughs> you know? That's all right, too. Go ahead. You got it. Isaiah 47 and 6. Mm -hmm. It says, I was rough with my people. Mm -hmm. I polluted my inheritance. Right. And giving them into thine hand, uh -huh. thou didn't show them no mercy. Right. That upon upon the ancient has thou very heavily laid, laid the yoke. Right. He heavily laid the yoke on us, man. And the scriptures say, uh, 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 you should have um, um, how we go again? I think it's in the book of James. You should have mercy. You should have mercy without mercy to him that which had showed no mercy. Yeah. So, he didn't show us no mercy, man. He didn't show us no mercy. You got the scripture, brother? He's still, he's still, he's still not showing mercy. He still ain't showing no mercy. Mm -hmm. Still being, our uh, people being shot down in the street. Why hold whole uh, Zechariah 11 and 5. You got it? Yeah. Go ahead, brother. It's Jeremiah 49 and verse 12. Mm -hmm. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, thou whose judgment was not to drink of the cup. Which is the Israelites. Not surely drunken. Right. We went through it, man. Uh-huh. Go ahead. And art thou he that shall altogether go and punish? Shall thou not go and punish? Thou, thou shalt not. Thou shalt not go and punish. It's like it. Thou shalt not go and punish, mm -hmm. but thou shalt surely drink of it. Mm -hmm. That's the CVP. Esau got to go through it, man. <laughs> we went through it. He got to go through it. That's right. He got to go through it, man. I got one more. We right, we right before you get that. Just hold that. I like to get the um, what's the uh, lamentation for? Excuse me, say he that lead into captivity shall go into captivity. That's it, man. They, they let us head first into captivity. <laughs> <laughs>
They was glad to come and snatch us up. <laughs> you see? Glad to come and snatch up. Right. I mean, I mean, every every turn Esau was there to fuck with us, man. Every every, every turn. Where, where, where we where we where we was coming out of uh, Egypt, Moses asked, okay, to 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 turn through their country, and say he say we ain't gonna touch nothing on the right or on the left. We just gonna keep going, you know. Mm -hmm. Man, they say no. He say at least we at least we come out with come out against thee with swords, mm -hmm. okay. When the Babylonians came to 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 to. To to, to 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 fight against uh, what's that uh, Judah Benjamin and Levi? It, the scripture tell you why the the, the, the Edomites who burned the temple, man. You see? Mm -hmm. When Esau put up on Jacob, with what four hundred men. Right. See? Mm -hmm. Right. For no reason, you just greeting your brother. You ain't see him in years. You just greet. You know what I'm saying? At every turn, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right. They was fighting in the womb. Right. Remember. Yeah. She said, why am I thus? She had to go inquire the Lord. Exactly. So when the when 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 General Vespasian and his son Titus, when they sacked Jerusalem, okay, our people, the, the Lord prophesied about that, 70 AD Masada. Our people ran down into the tears in the tears of Africa, right? Only to be rounded up years later by who? Esau, man. <laughs> That's how our ancestors get in the Americas. Okay, they know who they was looking for. They had a, if you get any old uh, map with Africa, they have a, 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 a place called Negro Land. Okay, mm -hmm. you have another place called Fort Judah. Fort Judah. You see? Get there. So they know they know who these these people were. They were remember the Christopher Columbus had Hebrew interpreters. Right. Why, why did he have Hebrew interpreters? Right. Come on, what's your name, boy? Toby, you know, mm -hmm. come on, bro. Mm -hmm. Man, the scriptures are spot on, man. I got it real quick. This one, um, Lamentations, Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 21. If I could find it, okay. Lamentations, chapter 4. Verse 21 says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. You see, so we went through it. Okay? We're about to get out of it. Exactly. But Esau, your time is just beginning. And that's why you're about to show us horns. Exactly. You see? Revelation 12 and 12 is you come to have a great rap because they know that you have a short time. Mm -hmm. That's why this place is about to get in chaos. You got it, little brother. Right. Oh, hell is about to break loose, gonna break loose on all sides in, in America, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, all leading up to us getting the rulership. Okay? You know, it's bad. It's very bad things coming to, to Babylon. Mm -hmm. Okay? Great things coming for for for, uh, for Israel starting with the elect. That's right. Okay, it's, it's a it's a uh, it's a reversal happening slowly right now. Right. Okay, we slowly seeing the decline of this place, and uh, slowly seeing the uprising of of, of, of us. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's, it's a beautiful time that you, that we living in right now. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful time, beautiful time to be a, a man a man of the Lord. Right. Okay. You know you're gonna wish it. you you was doing what you're supposed to in those time in those times to in the in the times that's about to come. Okay. Yeah. You know, but I got uh. Will you ask him? Mm -hmm. You still hold the Zechariah eleven and five. Come on. Go ahead, brother. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter eleven, verse five. Mm -hmm. Whose possessors slayed them mm -hmm. and hold themselves not guilty, mm -hmm. and they that sell them say, "Let's be the Lord, for I'm rich, and their own shepherds pity them not." Right. So. <laughs> You see how people get slain in the street, and it's, it's almost as if it, it ain't nothing, man. Because mm -hmm. nothing really comes out of it. You know, yeah. they don't get no, no no true justice for the the amount of slain of our people that happens in the street by the hands of these devils, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, right. They do a little bit of marching and shit, but that don't that's nothing, man. Right. Okay, I got something to back them up. Okay. Psalms ten and uh, eight. It says, 
be sitting in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places, Duffy murdered the innocent. Mm -hmm. His eyes are privately, are privately set against the poor. Who's this? He, and who's the poor? Okay, Israel. That's right. It says, he lied in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lied in the wait in wait to catch the poor. He doth he doth catch the poor when he draw when he draw him into his net. Mm -hmm. He crouches and humbles himself and, and that the poor may fall by his strong ones. Right. So the Esau purposely does these right. things, man. You, you got it. Now you see uh, what the police car they hide it hiding in the, in, in the corner, mm -hmm. trying to catch Jake. Mm -hmm. then, then when they catch Jake, you know, they, they end up uh, doing Jake wrong, mm -hmm. shit like that, man. Jake, get, Jake end up getting killed, you know, for no reason, man. Cause they constantly trying to set Jake up, exactly. setting traps and snares for Jake. Mm -hmm. I got something right here for that. This is Psalm 64. It says. To the chief musician of Psalm of David, hear my voice, O power, in my prayer, preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Right. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity, who wet their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words, they, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privately. They say, who shall see them? They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. But the Most High shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. See, these are the times we're coming into that they're going to have to answer. Okay? Mm-hmm. The times that we're coming into right now, the Lord said that the plagues are sent. Okay? They ain't going to be able to turn back those, pl those plagues, man. Okay, it says, But the Most High shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. So you go back to the 40s and the 30s and the 50s, all them lynchings and different things they used to be going on with. People used to be telling you how these people were wicked from so long ago. But now you got video, you got internet. People starting to see it That's right. to the point where one of the day, uh, elitists say they should have never made the internet. Exactly. You see, getting, it's getting exposed. They're being exposed. And really, the internet wasn't even created for you. It was created for for the, for the word to be spread. That's right. Okay. But then somehow they walk by. They think it was it's, it's, it's all of that. Right. We damn should have never made the. It wasn't. It wasn't. You ain't. It's not. It was not of you. Right. Okay. But let's see, they, they just want everything. They want praise for everything as if they're responsible for everything. Because right. evil showing how wicked they is too. Even from the time of slavery, when Jake invented certain things, they used to take the pattern and, and act like it's them who came up with it. Mm -hmm. You see? Because they want, they want, they say, when scriptures, I mean, you know, you know what they say. History is, is written by the victor. Exactly. That's how they was able to change up. Uh, 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 history with their books and the different things, mm -hmm. because they're in the, they're in the power seat. You see? Mm -hmm. Anybody got precepts? Come. So Rock Tina uh, started at twelve. He says, "The beginning of pride is when one departed from the Most High, mm -hmm. and his heart is turned away from his Maker." It's like, for pride is the beginning of sin, and he had, and he he that had it shall pour abomination. And therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. Mm -hmm. The Lord had cast down the throne of proud princes and set up the meek in their stead. The Lord had plucked up the roots of the proud nations and planted the lowly in their place. That's right. The Lord overthrew the nations of the heathen and destroyed them to the foundations of the earth. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what his Lord is going to do with this kingdom, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, especially, especially Esau being the most proud man on earth. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Lord is going to uh, take him down and serve the meek, and the meek will be the elect. Right. Because the scripture said the meek shall inherit the earth. Okay. You know, and really the earth was made for them anyway. Right. Okay. Esau's just, you know, Esau's just, I'm going to say Esau's just in the, in the way right now. Okay. Things just have to play out. Prophecies have to play out. Right. Okay. Uh, continuing on, continuing on, it says, he took them, he took some of them away and destroyed them and made their moment, and, they, and made their memorial to see from the earth. Right. You know, some 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 proud uh, kings that that was in rulership, the Lord done fucked them up so bad that mm -hmm. you know they you don't even know who they are. Right. Okay, said so they're a murmur to cease from the earth. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah for a lot of them who things what they did against our people, you know. Uh, Nebuchadnezzar, the Lord made him, you know, mm -hmm. turn him into a damn, <laughs> what you call it, a wild beast. Yeah, exactly. Tell you how to praise the Lord, okay? You see, the, the, the Lord did to Herod and Antiochus for all the wicked what they did. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. It's not going around in the, the most high, man. All right. That does be finna come, you know. Right. It's, it's because the Lord won't tell you right on the spot. Don't mean, it, don't mean it's not coming. Right. That's right. It says Ecclesiastes 8 and 11 because uh, mm -hmm. senses against evil work is not done mm -hmm. speedily. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some of that? Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Mm hmm. Look at it. You got it? Ecclesiastes? Or? Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. Yeah. Old Testament. Eight and eleven. Um, this is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter eight, verse eleven. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, mm -hmm. therefore the heart of the son of men is fully set in them to do evil. Right. <laughs> right. So because they lawyer and judge them right on the spot, they right. think they 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 say they they can they can continue doing what they doing. Right. Okay, but it can continue. Mm -hmm. Noah. Huh? You got it. Though a sinner do evil. And hundred times in his days before long, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, which fear before Him. Mm -hmm. Make it thirteen. But it shall not be well with them, the wicked. Neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before the Most High. Mm -hmm. Exactly, Esau. Man. Okay, mm -hmm. what it says in Job, he desired not the ways of the Lord. If you paraphrasing, okay, in Job what, twenty, it's twenty twenty-one, I believe. Mm. Okay, so hey, judgment is coming to Esau, man, and, mm -hmm. and to his kingdom. That's right. Okay, it's it's, written, it's already written down. It's, it's in the prophecy. You know, mm -hmm. the words of the Lord don't return unto him void. That's right. Okay. That's right. I got out of the book of James, chapter five. I saw the one. Uh, you're right. You can get uh, get uh, wisdom of Solomon, chapter five. Spells uh, This is James, chapter five, and verse one it says, "Go to now, ye rich men." Weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Okay, this is going into to the elite, man. Your riches are corrupted, and your garments are moth eaten. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you. Because they're hoarding up all of these golds and stuff, man. Mm -hmm. And shall eat your flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasure together for the last days. You see? Right. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which, which is of you kept back by fraud, crieth, and the cries of them which have reaped are entered into the ears of the Lord of Sabaoth. Okay, so just like in the time of Egypt, man, when our people cried out, and the Lord heard it, and the Lord sent them a savior. That's right. You see. Sure. So. Hey, that Yahweh Shai passed over those times. Mm -hmm. Yahweh Shai coming to pass over these times. Sure. Okay, scripture say as birds flying is going. Somebody get that? Um, Isaiah thirty one and five. Isaiah thirty one and five. I think it is. Lord yeah. coming to fly over and defend defend the elect, man. Got it? Go ahead. Isaiah thirty one and five. As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts. Defend Jerusalem. That's right. Defending also, he will deliver it, mm -hmm. and passing over, he will preserve it. That's right. That's what we're looking forward to. That, that's what our hope is in. You see, mm -hmm. that's what our hope is in, man. Yes. Go ahead, brother. This is uh, this is Job twenty verse four. Mm -hmm. Noah's doubt not like those doubt not this of old to mm -hmm. man was placed upon the earth. That's it. That the triumphing of the wicked is short. That's right. And the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. Not for a moment, man. Right, man. So Esau thinks that he's gonna continue his kingdom forever, but it uh it most I got another plan for you, Esau. That's right. You know, it most I got a plan to put it a righteous in in authority, man. Mm hmm The true judges. Right. Uh he still wanted to uh Yeah. Cause that's the time where we in right now. That's what we're doing. We sighing and crying. You know? For all the abominations be done in the midst thereof, man. Sure. 
You see, that's we sighing and crying. We standing upon our feet to the spirit and power of the Abashim Shai, telling these devils that they go ahead first into slavery, man. You see? Go ahead. It's a wisdom song, yeah? mm -hmm. Wisdom song chapter 5. I'm going to start at verse 1. Start at verse 15. Start at 1. Wisdom okay. mm -hmm. chapter 5, verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as, as, have, as have afflicted him. Right, so that's, that's what we're doing right now. You see? Go ahead. And him made no, it's like, and made no account of his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangers of his, of his salvation. Right. So so beyond that all they look for. Right. So this is what you're reading right there. Say, uh, uh, um, go back to what I just read in James. It says, they, 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 they kept us back by fraud, man. Behold the hire of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which you kept back by fraud. You see, read back the last verse you just read. When they see it, they shall be troubled. No, go back one, one verse up. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as afflicted him mm -hmm. and made no account of his labor. Right, they didn't make no account of our labors. They kept us back by fraud. That's what I'm trying to pinpoint. You know what I'm saying? Read on. When they see it, they shall be troubled. Mm -hmm. With terrible fear, they shall be amazed at the strangers of his salvation. Right. So far beyond all that looked for. Right. So even though they kept us back by fraud, mm -hmm. out of 500 here, the yes, star telling you to pull himself by your, your own strap boot, okay? And all these different things, but different from that, okay. The scriptures say how the elect is is, is is justified in the sight of the Lord, man. You see, who we for knew he he he, he justified, man. That's As right. scripture tells in the book of uh, uh, Romans, the eighth chapter, man. That's right. You see, long as you adhere to the word of the Lord, the Lord selected you, predestinated you as one of those first spirits created, cool. okay. Salvation is for you, man. Mm -hmm. You just got to be activated and do the work and keep your hand on the plow. That's right. You know, I don't want Raptors out with those men. Deliverance is, is, is for the Lord's elect, man. Mm -hmm. You see? Read on. So I got something back in my right quick. Go ahead. Second Ages 9 and 8, it says, And shall, shall be preserved from the said perils. That's it, bro. And shall see my salvation in my land. Mm -hmm. It's not up seven. Come on. And second hundred ninety seven and everyone that shall be saved mm -hmm. and shall be able to escape by his works. Right. And by faith whereby ye have believed. Right. And that's what we're doing to the best of our ability. Go ahead. Shall shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. Mm -hmm. For I've sanctified them from for me from the beginning. Right, predestination. That's right, that's right. That's it. That's it. That's Predestinated, it. man. So they go make it, man. Mm -hmm. They go they go witness. The deliverance, right? Okay, they're gonna, they're gonna, you know, going through all the hell. They go carry all the charges. They are gonna make it, you know, and they gonna see this place get destroyed too. That's right. Hey, okay. this is the, uh, Revelation the fifteen chapter. Stand yeah. up on the sea of glass. That's right. You see those that have gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his name. That's right. You see, like the seven thousand men. They ain't right. Got a, a number, a complete number. Right. That's right. That's the elect. Right. Okay. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit more on that to read down on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the repenting and groaning for the anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, This was he who had sometimes in derision and, and a prophet of, of reproach. Mm -hmm. Let me read for it. Go down. We, we fools accounted his life madness right. and his end to be without honor. Right. So they didn't talk we was those people, man. They didn't talk it was us. Mm -hmm. Okay. The scriptures say Hosea chapter 1. Okay. Uh, 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 the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, and the place where it said that ye are not my people, there shall be said ye are the sons of the living power. Mm -hmm. They didn't talk it was uh, it was us. You see, mm -hmm. read on. Verse five. How is he numbered among the children? Right. The Most High. Right. They're looking at Jake in the ghettos and looking at Jake and Jake at the bottom. They're looking at Jake like, nah, man, this can't be. You know, and that's another reason why when when Yahweh Shai crack them skies, the people they're gonna be shocked. Mm -hmm. they, the scriptures say that they shall wail, <laughs> the, the, the the tribe shall wail. And another one said they shall mourn. Because when they, they scratch see a so called black man, that they, they and automatically they know it's a bad. We've been treating these people so bad all this damn time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Ira. 
you know what it says, you know, how this from the face of the land. Right. <laughs> okay, they go nigga, they go nigga, they go knew they fucked up. Bro. Right. That's right. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> or he paraphrased it. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Therefore, mm -hmm. therefore we have erred from the way of the truth, and the, and the light of righteousness hath not shined upon us, and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. We wearied ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Yea, we have we have gone through deserts where they lay no way, mm -hmm. but as for the way of the, of the Lord, we have not known it. All right. That's it, man. They 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 gonna realize they they messed up <laughs> big time. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna get ready to close out. Um, get because these they're gonna get rounded up, man. According to uh, Psalms one forty seven, it's like it one forty nine. A whole chapter going to how they're gonna be rounded up, man. You see, but get why get Isaiah twenty four. Silent, I think it's twenty one. Where they gonna round? We gonna round them up? It's uh, one forty nine and verse. I'm gonna start at verse seven, but twenty is at verse eight. No, no, we're not gonna go read the whole thing. We, we, that's why I tell you get oh, just get, get, get Isaiah twenty four. Okay. Get get uh, yeah. get yeah, rounded up. Come. That's what twenty verse verse twenty one or something. Like. Come Isaiah twenty four twenty one. Okay, hold that. Get uh, you right. Get uh, okay, Revelation right. ten. Now we ain't gonna. I don't want to read the whole thing right now. We get ready to close. So get Revelation ten, nine. It's like you're thirteen, nine and ten. And um, get um, you uh, uh, Get uh, uh, Revelation eighteen and twenty one. Come. Okay, go away. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 24, verse 21. Right, so these rich people who get in these bunkers, a lot of them, they're going to survive the destruction only to be rounded up later to be the first fruits of slavery, man. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones mm -hmm. that are on high and the kings of the earth upon the earth. Mm -hmm. And they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit mm -hmm. and shall be shut up in the prison. And after many days shall they be visited. Right. So the scriptures speak about we being fishers. And then later on we're going to be turning to hunters. We're going to be rounding them up, man. Cool. You see? Why? Because they led us into captivity. They got to serve back. They, 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 they punishment double, man. Go ahead, Yura. Which is Revelation 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Mm -hmm. he, that leads into, he that leads into captivity shall mm -hmm. born in captivity. Uh -huh. He that kill with the sword must be killed with the sword. That's right. Here is the patience of the saints. That's right. So the, the saints are patiently waiting to put those who had us in captivity to put them back into captivity. That's right. All right. As the book can tell you, the, uh, Rebel, uh, Salakia, Isaiah, the 14 chapters, man. Okay, it tells you that those who, who oppressed us, we're gonna have them for our possession. Mm -hmm. You see, go ahead, Ira. Revelation 18 21. Mm -hmm. And a mighty angel took start, up. No, start at 20. Isaiah. Rejoice, because we're gonna rejoice. Revelation 18 and 20. Mm -hmm. Rejoice over her, the mm -hmm. heaven, and the holy apostles and That's prophets. Right. For the Most High had avenged you on her. That's what the Most High is gonna do. Avenge us. Go ahead. And the mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, mm -hmm. saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down, mm -hmm. and shall be found no more at all. Found no more at all, man. Mm -hmm. That's that's what's coming. That's the prophecy. That's, right. that's the good news. That's, right. that's the gospel. That's right. You see? <laughs> so with that, we're going to have to end it there. Hopefully you were edified. We're going to give our honor and glory and praise unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakudash. Double uh, honors to our elders and apostles of great men, student, taught us this truth and rule well. Salutations and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Shalom. Shalom. Kwame Ashala. Shalom. Shalom.